Hey there, welcome back. This is Beamer Merchant. You're looking at the front seats of a 99 BMW 540i. And today we're going to go ahead and show you briefly how the process to remove the front seats. Uh, we're also going to let you know the tools that are needed. Okay, so let's get started. Tools you're going to need is a 50 Torx, okay, and a ratchet. If you have a longer ratchet, it's better because most of the time those uh, and the torques, the bolts look like this. And you gotta be careful too that um, when you're turning, you don't strip it. Because if you strip it, it's not gonna be a good day for you. So just make sure you put a lot of pressure on the top and then as you turn so it doesn't slip. Okay, so you're gonna need this tool here. You're also gonna need a 27 Torx, I believe. Is that, am I correct? Yep, 27. Okay. Okay, obviously, in order to have access to the front bolts, which is where I start from, which is right here, you need to go ahead and have power to the seat and make sure you push it all the way back and also push it up so you have um, room down here. Then what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to take this cover off. I went ahead and took it off, obviously, but this cover is usually sits right here, okay, on the side, and uh, that bolt is a 27 that's why you need this 27 Torx to remove it once you remove the Torx uh, you can just go ahead and lift it up and pull forward and this cupboard should go ahead and um, come out pretty easily and that's gonna give you access to the bolt which is right there and of course I've gone ahead and taken it out same thing um, as you go down here okay this bolts gonna be covered by this cover here so this cover sits back here somewhere you're going to have to uh, come up with a way where you're going to have to fit this back here, okay, with your wrench and turn it. Once you turn it, you can just go ahead and remove it from the, from the wrench and just turn it by hand. Once you turn it by hand, you go ahead and pop it out and the Torx looks like that, okay. Once that's done, go ahead and take the 50 Torx bolt and you're good on this side. Okay, I went ahead and removed the covers and the torques. Again, the torques look like this and just be careful not to strip them. Now, let's go ahead and push the seat forward so we can have access to the back of the, of the seats. And as you're doing this, make sure that once it sits here, you want to have this backrest all the way front too. You know, just so it gives you space. Okay, let's push it all the way right there and then just go ahead and lift it up if you can. Okay, now we're looking at the back end of the seat here. You can see most of the time it is gonna be dirty with the crumbs and change all around here. What you need to do is you need to go ahead and pop these covers off. And these have no no um, no torque. So all you have to do is just get a, a Husky or a similar tool and start here, pop it out. There you go. Once you do that, you can just go ahead and lift it up. Pulls out, okay? Same thing on the other side. Just go ahead and through, you know, in this area here, because those are the clips that are holding the, and then once those clips are off, or you can just take your hand, wiggle it, and pull it out, and that's gonna give you access to the 50 Torx bolts, okay? Go ahead and take those off. Okay, once you remove those two 50 Torx, you're gonna come um, here to the side of the, of the seats, and this actually holds the seat belt in place, as you can see, it's right here. Okay, so again, that's also a 50 Torx. A word of caution, just be careful not to strip it. And also, pay attention how this goes back into the, you know, how it sets back into the frame. I know in most cases, people put this on the other side here. Okay, and that's not the right way to go. That's supposed to go like that. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to that. Okay, once you remove that, you can just go ahead and pull the this and it should come out there it is next we look back here again at the side um this here there's like a wire that connects here and basically this wire what it does is when the seat moves forward it actually controls this section here it either moves it up or it moves it down that way you know the shoulder strap sits properly on the chest of the driver okay so that's that's what this function right here controls and it's very simple to remove okay as you can see we've gone ahead and taken the passenger side seat off 
and this is the cable that I'm talking about okay this that hooks out to the seat now I'll show you what the purpose of this is so basically when you push the seat forward go ahead this is what it does it brings it up and then if you push the seat back this should come down again here okay so that's what it is okay once the cable is uh, un unlatched you go to the uh, side of the seats again get some power to the seat and same thing go ahead and push it back because now what you want to do is you want to uh, get access to the bottom um, switch or the connector and again on these cars from 99 to 2003 the connector should be yellow if it's not yellow then it's not compatible with your car okay so then what you do is you lift up this the seat back here and then you're gonna have access to the seat switch right there and to remove this pretty simple you go ahead and take a flat screwdriver or something like this you pop this uh, cover off and then you're able to basically pull the switch out okay and just remove it once this is off the seat is ready to come off and all you have to do is basically pull it out of the car just be careful as you're pulling it off that this edge which is sharp right there it doesn't scratch your uh, your panels or you know scratch your side sill or any of the other parts of the car just be careful when you remove it and uh, these are pretty heavy so make sure you uh if, if you uh, have a bad back make sure you have somebody help you out because otherwise it'll probably throw it out anyhow that's the process to remove these front seats okay uh, if you have any questions comments please be sure to let us know and as always be sure to subscribe to our uh, channel for future videos Thanks for watching. Beamer Merchant out.